Hey guys, so let's take a look at this unit here today. It's got a bad battery. Actually, it was not starting because of the battery. Uh, I guess we shortened something out. So we replaced the battery. Uh, one of the things that you want to do when you replace a battery is try to check and see the status of it. And kind of hard nowadays, but we do we do have this little software here called Battery Info View. Let me show you the website we got it from. It's a free software. So if you go to, uh, well, just go Battery Info View and it'll probably pop up, but it's from Nursoft. They have a bunch of other tools as well. If you're not familiar with them, you'll probably have some fun on this page. So that's the software that we're gonna be checking out. So let's minimize it there. We download it. We have it here on the, home, uh, on the desktop. And let's see what we got. So I'll start with like the first disclaimer. It doesn't work perfectly all the time. Batteries are getting more and more complicated. They're like a little mini computer. So let's see how it goes with this one here. So you're gonna see it, you know, obviously has a bunch of little different areas there that it's gonna check. But the main thing we wanna take a look at is this one here, which is the battery health, right? These two here, you got the design capacity and then the full charge capacity, right? So this one is, you know, 63,000 whatever milliamps and based on it, uh, you know, charging and discharging, it's saying that it has, that the full charge capacity is the same. Now you're gonna see some batteries that they're not gonna be the same. We, I think we have a video up relative to this that it's not the same. Uh, so let's say if this was, you know, 60,000 then this wouldn't be 100, it would be whatever that number turns out to be. So take a look at that. If this gives you a zero or something like that, that's wacky, then that just means, you know, it's not reading it properly. So this one, you know, looks pretty good. Here's telling you the current the current charge, which no big deal, right? Because if you go down to your battery, it's gonna tell you that. So you're like, I don't need a software for that. The other thing that you can take a look at is the charge and discharge rate. I don't have figures on this, but if you're doing some type of diagnostic, you might wanna take a look at that. That might be able to help you out. How is this battery, is the battery discharging, you know, faster than, than normal than a previous one? Or if you, you know, keep track of some statistics, which I haven't done, uh, you'd be able to compare and say, you know, it's discharging faster than, than normal, what have you. Or if you connect it, well, in this case, it's charging actually. If we disconnected it, it would be, it would go negative. So it's charging, it's discharging. Actually, with numbers, right? Because when you look at at the uh, at your regular application on the computer, it tells you it's charging or not, but you don't really see like a rate, you know. So, gives you a little more info. And what else? The cycle count is over here. This one I have found that it's not always accurate. We'll find out on this one. It's showing one, but you know we'll charge it up and we'll charge it down and see if that changes. And that's one of the things that we do if we change a battery. You know, don't just change the battery. Here's your battery, ma'am, you know, or if it's your own battery, and then not even take a look. Take a look. If you order a new battery and it, you get it and it shows you, you know, 90%, maybe you want to send it back. Or even this design capacity, right? So I haven't looked at, let me see if I see the, the one that we removed. Is it around there? The one that we took off? Right here. So that design capacity also, like, let's say you got a battery and it says it has... You know, 64, uh, I think it's watt hours is how they go by. Exactly, right? So this battery here is 64 watt hours, right? And you buy another one on Amazon and it says 64 watt hours. But is it? It could say 150, right? They could print whatever they want on there. I mean, generally, if you get it from a reasonable, you know, from a decent vendor, okay, we'll trust them. But here you're able to look at that and say, well, this one is 60, uh, 64 watt hours. What is this one here? 63,992 milliwatts. So if it's milli, just take off, you know, the 3000s there, right? So it's 63.9 watt hours. Sounds good, that makes sense. So that battery is probably good. Maybe it blows up next week, we don't know that. But these are the basic things that we could take a look at to be able to say either for yourself or for a customer, you know, I think we got a decent uh, battery here. All right, so one of the other things that you want to take a look at here is this icon here, which is the the battery log. So we've had this running for a few minutes. So it's keeping track here every minute. It's creating a log of where the percentage is, the capacity. This is the, um, where are we at here? The rate, is that the charge rate. So 
interesting. We got zeros here. Uh, so it shows basically the the capacity going up or going down. If we disconnect it, it'll probably wait a minute and then show discharging, etc. These zeros. We've been opening and closing this a bunch of times, so maybe that's why it came up there. So you want to keep track of that. Uh, and then the other thing you want to do is uh, is create a text log so that let's say you're, you know, if you're following this and uh, you're draining it and the battery dies um, you know, you're not going to be able to go back and see where it is or vice versa if you're charging it and you're following the log on the on the charging and then uh, Windows does uh, an update or something like that one of those unexpected updates of course it's gonna happen right in the middle when you're checking your computer. We all know that, right? Um, and then you're gonna lose that information. So you wanna set it up so it does uh, a text logo here. That's gonna be up here in uh, options, advanced options. And then you wanna go down here, add a battery, add battery log lines to a file, right? Select where we wanna put it. And we're on the desktop and then we're just Call it battery log. If we can do that. And then save. And then click OK. And one thing that was driving us crazy when we were doing this video, we had to do like 10 takes, is we would save that and then we look up here and we're like, where the heck is, didn't it just save it? And we would go back and what's going on? Well, what's going to happen? In, What's going to happen is it's going to appear like magic upon the next minute, uh, you know, event here. So I'm going to keep talking and you're going to see that happen. So if you do that, you know, which like we did and we looked and we thought we didn't save it properly, it's going to, it's going to appear. So it's in memory. And as soon as that 647, 29, like magic is gonna show up all right so yeah this probably was from opening and closing you can see here already you got the discharge rate going on there and then we're actually in the process of charging this okay so there you saw that you know we went to 648 i guess it skipped a minute i don't know we started in the middle of a minute or something and then you got the little battery log down here and the log's gonna be from where this first one started so if we opened it up we're not going to see the whole thing so you want to start it you want to create the battery log when when you start right not an hour into it because we set up the log right here at 648 and then the next entry was i mean i'm sorry at 640 uh 646 the next entry at 648 is the one that starts there so once you get started right up the log and then it's just going to keep you know adding to it so it's pretty cool computer turns off it doesn't matter you have it there you can print it out or whatever you want to do with that. And that pretty much wraps up the Nursoft Freeware uh, battery info view. So you can get some info on your battery and make sure whatever you purchased, you know, you got a good deal and you got a decent battery and you didn't get a, you know, a three cell battery when they were claiming it was a six cell battery. This is, I think the only way you're gonna you're gonna know unless you want to open up your battery and check the cells you probably don't want to do that because if they're missing you're not gonna be able to send it back so thanks for watching and that's what's going on today at pc 911